little twisty turn there <laughs> yeah. uh, because the snow is going to be gone soon, right, Daniel? Wipe out. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> that is my type of thing. This is uh -huh. what I would be doing, sledding down the hills, taking advantage of the slippery conditions. Now, it's caused some uh, treacherous roadway travel for us, but it can also be fun. So great seeing all those kids out there and probably some adults, too, having a lot of fun. All right, the good news. Jennifer asked, when will the warm weather arrive? Well, soon, in less than 24 hours. So we're going to start to see a warm up. Right now, though, here's a look outside. Roads are looking pretty nice. Uh, travel is looking pretty good as well. So we are expecting light freezing drizzle and maybe even some snow flurry activity as we head into tonight. That could create some more problems. And with temperatures below freezing, it could become slippery. So just be safe as you're hitting the roadways. If you see a wet spot or you're driving on a wet road, assume it's ice because there could be some black ice out there as well. Snowfall totals today, well, anywhere between half an inch right here in Louisville to as much as an inch and a half in Huntingburg. So we had some snow out there this morning. It was pretty to see. It added to the snow that we had just a few days ago, and it all came with an Arctic blast. Take a look at these stats. The last time Louisville was above 32 degrees was 8 p.m. on December 22nd. That was several days ago, 96 hours ago. Wow, it's been a long time. And by the time we climb above freezing, it's gonna be over 100 hours uh, since we've gotten above freezing. The coldest high temperature during this Arctic snap was seven degrees, the coldest low, five below zero, and the coldest wind chill here, 31 degrees below zero. It was dangerous and it turned deadly, unfortunately, here in our area. The good news is we are about to thaw out. Warming up as we head through the week by Friday and Saturday, we're getting close to 60. Can you believe that? Right now, though, nowhere close to it. Mid to upper 20s out the door, Scottsburg 26. 27 in Shelbyville, 27 in Corridon. We are tracking that clipper, the one that brought us the snow this morning. We saw the snow ahead of the low pressure. The actual low is still to our west, and it's taken a, uh, taken a ride along the jet stream here. Eventually, it's going to zoom up toward New England over the next day. And as that pushes through tonight, that's when we could see a little bit more in the way of wintry weather. We're not expecting steady snow like this morning, but you can see some of that to our west building, and it is heading our direction as that little low in Illinois begins to push into our area. As it does that, some precipitation will fall. It's going to be light and most of it patchy. So just a little bit of drizzle and maybe a wintry mix possible. Right now, the only thing showing up on radar is over towards Evansville and Owensboro, even down toward Litchfield and Grayson County, just southwest of there, I should say. That's all we can see right now, a little bit of a wintry mix but other than that, we are dry, but most of that precip is still west of us and it is heading our direction. So just be aware, could get a little slippery tonight. 26 degrees for that overnight low temperature. Most of us will be in the mid 20s for overnight lows. Tomorrow, finally, we climb above freezing 36 degrees. That forecast high tomorrow, maybe some morning freezing drizzle and then just staying pretty cloudy through the day. We're not expecting much in the way of sunshine, but above freezing temperatures will help melt some more of the snow tomorrow, mid 30s for those highs. Notice the blue showing up. That's a little bit of snow, maybe some freezing drizzle, and that's gonna be pushing into the area tonight. A lot of it's gonna break apart and dry up, so that's why we're not expecting anything steady, but that drizzle can be enough to cause slippery conditions, especially with ground temperatures below freezing. And then here we go through Tuesday, maybe a little bit of sunshine south of the metro, but mostly cloudy skies through Tuesday. It won't be until Wednesday when we finally see some sunshine, a good amount of sunshine. By then, we're going to get into the upper 40s, mid 50s Thursday. We should stay dry Thursday, just an isolated shower, and then up near 60 for the end of the week and heading into the weekend, the last day of 2022. Saturday looks pretty wet, but as we're celebrating the new year and ringing it in, it's going to be mild for overnight lows in the 50s, first day of 2023 maybe some morning showers. <laughs> That's okay, as long as it's not in the negative. Yeah, a big warm-up coming we'll up, it. I can't wait. All right, thank you, Daniel.